Hello guys, welcome, good to see you. Good evening. Good evening guys, hello, welcome back. Oh, I am, I'm happy to see you. Hope you are okay. Good evening. Let's... Hello, good evening, Profino. Hello. Hello, Maria. Hello, Emily, good to see you. Sarah, Ariana, good to see you. And um, if you can help me with the background, because with the music right okay i'm just going to mute. okay thank you guys so let's go back to the lesson and uh, in this week we're going to start section five and also we're going to study some vocabulary right so uh tell me what do you remember from the last class uh, let's see what do you remember jenny from the previous class We record uh, our voice in a Bukaru. Oh, yes, right. We recorded, right, our voice in the Bukaru section. Did you present yours, Jenny? Yes. Okay. I, I remember I, I listened all of them, and they presented, like, some dogs, some cats, and even about the university and uh, what the activities of what you do daily, right? Okay. Okay, what else can you add, Rufino? What else did you learn in the previous class? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember, right? <laughs> be honest, Excuse me. Be honest. Okay. I I hate you today, tired with many things in it your mind today. Yes. Muchas cosas hechas yes. Okay, no problem, Rufino. Okay, so what else can you add? Let's see, Patricia, Veronica. What else can you add to the topics that we studied last class? Mm -hmm. um, yes, Patricia? Yes, the topic. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the topics. Yes. Uh, no, eh, social media. No. Oh, the social media, right? The uh -huh. Social media, yes. We read something about social media. Okay, thank you, Patricia. So let's see what do we have for the class, right? We're going to start with this activity and uh, you're going to help me to find the difference, right? So let's start uh, with the, let's see. Tell me one, uh, Luis, please, sorry. Tell me one difference between the two pictures. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, uh, please. Let me see. Uh, I, I, I recently I see the picture, but okay, okay. I, I think that I can I can I can see one. Okay, tell me. Uh, the, the, the little house on one uh, pictures. The first one pictures on the top, there is mm -hmm. a, a little house. There. And the, the left side, and the, left side the, 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 the little house is, is, is more little than the right side. Okay, from. Can you see? Okay. I'm trying to identify the. The, from the, the first the first the first picture mm -hmm. to the top to the right and down uh, on the mm -hmm. top there is a little a little house i, I think okay but there, the, the size of the house is is different the size I, I know. of the house is different Okay, mm, I can't it, see it, the, mm -hmm. the, the. There are three persons. Oh, one there are three persons, drawing, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, he is painting yeah. one picture. Okay. The, the, the left, the first one, in mm -hmm. that line, the picture on the mm -hmm. top. This there one? Is one imagine this one this one oh. 
Do you mean this one? Yes. Okay, so you... Yes. Oh, but, it is... It is smaller. Yeah, it's smaller. This one? And this one, do you mean that one, Luis? No, on the no. top. Okay, but we have one, right? Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. In the, on the top, you mean right here or where? On the top of this picture mm -hmm. that you mark. Yeah. In black. Okay. The roof, the red roof. Oh, the red roof. Okay. It's a little bit. It's the little red and the roof. first picture. Okay. Do you mean this one? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 You, you mark, you, you made a a rectangle. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that yes. one, rectangle. Okay. So on the here. Top, on, on. Okay, uh, here in this one. Down. Down. No, no I think I, I think I think Rodrigo. Okay. Is already it. Red. Hey. The red proof. Like the, a canopy. Oh, this one. Yes, that is. What is the difference? The difference is the... ¿Cómo se dice? Tamaño. Eh, the size. size. The size, mm -hmm. yes. The size of the... I, I will tell you in Spanish. Se ve como una pequeña casita. Okay, we can see, um, but I can see here that there is another uh, yeah, one here, that right? One, that one. Oh, do you mean that That's it is one. bigger, this one, from that one? That is. Yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, thank How you many for your big effort. They must be 10, 10. 10 different? Yes, 10. I see oh, two. I, I got one. Please. Okay, let's it, listen. It's very Jenny. difficult. Okay, let's listen, Jenny, and then you help me, guys. Okay, Jenny? Okay. In the second easel. Mm -hmm. In the, the second, second picture. Uh, mm -hmm. Easel. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a boy or a gentleman, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in the second easel to the left, mm -hmm. to the right, mm -hmm. is uh, the, the draw. Uh, down is different in the second picture. In the second picture, the color is different. The color is different. Oh, I can see. Oh, do you, do you mean light. this one? Yes, this yes, one? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, yes. okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, Rodrigo, please continue. Okay, uh, the, the man who is wearing a red t shirt. He, he has sunglasses in the first picture and the second picture, she, he doesn't. Yes, okay, he's is. not wearing, right, sunglasses. Okay, okay. there you have. Uh, and mm -hmm. another, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the white roof, the white roof. The white roof. Are two, two white roof, okay. You mean the this one? Is, no, uh -huh, yes, mm -hmm. it is. The second is more little than the first. It is smaller, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, here you have. And okay. another. <laughs> mm -hmm. And another. The house, the brown house, mm -hmm. has a circle, a circle in the top, in the first and the second. Yeah. It, it, it is smaller, right? Here we can see it, right? But in this one, we can see yeah. it like badly. Okay, yes. that's good, Rodrigo. Any other guys? Any other? No more? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I will say, I will share this in the WhatsApp group so you can 
play this game. Remember that the point of this exercise is for you to speak, right? Okay, let's go to the lesson. Remember that in this lesson, we're going to study more vocabulary. Hello, Estela, good to see you. We're going to study more vocabulary and we're going to discuss this topic, great structures, right? Great structures. Okay, let's see uh, this place. The Beijing International Airport is the largest in the world. Did you know that, guys, about this place, Beijing International Airport? Or maybe you have been there or watched a film or a, doc a documentary too, right? We have the other one that it is the Japan's Akashi Kaiko Bridge is the longest suspension bridge in the world. Would you like to visit this place, Emily? Would you like to visit this place? Or this one, for example, China's airport? What about you, Emily? Would you like to visit that place? Or Emily Jamilet? Would you like to visit these places? No? Okay. What about you, Paola? Would you like to visit these places? Yes, I like to be visit. <laughs> Which one? Uh, uh, the Beijing International Airport. Oh, this one, the Beijing International Airport. Yes. From China? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes, right. It is the largest, right? Okay, thank you, Paola. What about you, Albert? Would you like to visit, for example, South Korea? It is uh, South Korea's Tapio Sunset Fountain, right? Of dreams is the world's largest fountain in the world. Would you like to visit this, right? This fountain. No, Albert? What about you? Let's see, Stella, would you like to visit this place? Would you like to visit? ¿Les gustaría visitarlo? Would you like to visit? No? Okay, what about you, Angela? Would you like to visit this place? Which one? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the South Korea's, mm -hmm. the Galeria. Galeria Vittorio. That one. Why that one? Por qué es? Why that one? Because it's beautiful, the structure. Oh, the structure, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one that it is from Italy. It is the oldest shopping mall in the world. What about uh, yeah. you? Let's see, Maria, what place, que lugar, Maria, Veronica, would you like to visit? Me gustaría visitar. Tenemos el Beijing, and we have the Japan's, the South Korea, the Galeria Vittorio Emanuel in Milan. Que lugar le gustaría visitar? What place, Maria, Veronica? Uh -huh. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. ¿Qué lugar? What place? Tenemos Korea. Que... Korea, okay, Korea, right, South Korea. That's a, that, that sounds interesting. The same says Stella. Stella says she wants to visit Korea. Okay, what other great structures or buildings do you know? Which ones have you visited? Okay, Estela, thank you. ¿Qué otros great structures, right? Ustedes conocen or buildings? And which ones have you visited? For example, in your case, um, let's see. What about you, Jenny? What other great structures or buildings do you know? ¿Qué otros lugares? Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I don't know, but, but I would like to visit mm -hmm. uh, the Grand Canyon in United States. 
in the United States. Yes, right. That is very famous. Okay, what about uh, you, Paola? What place would you like to visit? Or maybe you know a building, right? The Torre Eiffel in Paris. Eiffel Tower, yes. That, that's a very, that's a good one, very famous. But some people say that is so expensive. Okay, what about uh, you, Rufino? What place or what other great structures or buildings do you know? Or which ones have you visited? Uh, if if I had had a, 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 much much money, mm -hmm. uh, I I would like for for place for mm -hmm. place that I I would like to visit the Beijing International Airport. Mm -hmm. I would you I would like. To visit Japan in Japan, mm -hmm. if um, uh, I I listen, uh, I have uh, escuchado. Uh, I heard, heard. I heard mm -hmm. um, the tower in the the Eiffel uh, Tower, the, um, the very rich in the in the um, Peninsula Arabica or mm -hmm. in the. The Arabic Peninsula. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, peninsula. Um, in, uh, I, I, would I would like to visit the Muralla China. Oh, yes. I remember that. Let, let me just remember the, the Great Wall. I'm not quite sure. I think it is the Great Wall. I, okay. But that one, yes, I, I heard about that one. It's, it's amazing, right? Okay, thank you, Rufino. Carla says that she would like to visit New York to visit the Times Square in Central Park, okay? That sounds interesting. Okay, let's talk about our, our country. Patricia, Veronica, tell me, uh, are there any great structures or buildings in our country? Which ones do you remember? Are there any great structures or algún edificio or alguna estructura que sea spectacular, right, in our country? Um, mm -hmm. Is there? Is. Bueno. <laughs> Joya de Seren podría ser. Joya de Seren, it can be right. That's wild, right? Ah, okay. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one too. There is another one, Campo Bello. I don't know if you have been there. Uh, Campo Bello. Yo solo he visto in the videos, right? I've just seen this in the videos. Any other guys that it is like a great structure or building? What is another? There, there is a, a structure, a structure mm -hmm. uh, in the, the Mormon Church. Oh, yes. Uh, and yeah. and uh, the Mormon Church. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't remember the name place. And I remember in the church, are two Mormons, Mormon yes. Church, and that is structure. Yeah, Beautiful. yeah, exactly. There is one in San Salvador that they have like a big a building, right? With a, like a gold angel or something like that. Definitely, Rufino. Okay, so any other? Okay, um, Maria. Uh -huh. Me. Yes, tell me. Uh, I would love to visit the ruins of Machu Picchu. Oh, Machu Picchu, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, in Peru, if if I'm not wrong, right, Machu Picchu? Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. Okay, that sounds great to go there. Okay, so guys, you know a lot about this. So, Musaber, we're going to watch a video about some of the great buildings or structures that we have or wonders in the world, right? It is good to have an idea some of the wonders. So give me just a second to share. Okay. Mm 
Let me know if, okay, if you can see. This one. Okay, just for some minutes, right? Not all the video because it is long. The movie Avatar, or perhaps some other distant Earth-like planet. It's hard to believe these places exist on our own planet. Here are 15 unbelievable places that actually exist. Number 15, Underwater Waterfall, Mauritius. Mauritius is known for its idyllic beaches and crystal clear sea, but there's an unbelievable phenomenon at the southwest corner of the island that appears to be an underwater waterfall. Despite how it looks, this isn't actually a flowing region of water, but instead an optical illusion that happens because of the seafloor structure. The island sits on an ocean shelf which is no more than 500 feet deep. At the edge of the shelf, however, it soon plunges down to depths of almost two and a half miles. And what you're actually seeing in the underwater waterfall is not water falling down into the abyss, but particles of sand that are being pushed over by the current. Number 14, Glowworm Cave, New Zealand. New Zealand is one of the most scenic countries in the world, but beyond the peaks of the mountain ranges, the deep valleys, and the glaciers, are a series of caves that seem to have come straight from a fairy tale. The reason for this is because they're home to glowworms, which are the larval forms of a species of fungus gnat that are endemic to the country. Known locally as titiwai, which means projected over water, the bioluminescence that's produced in the insect's abdomens is designed to attract prey and happens as a result of a chemical reaction between a luciferase enzyme and a molecule of luciferin. It creates one of the most stunning sights that you can see in the natural world and makes for a magical boat ride through the cavern when thousands of the glowworms are active. Number 13, Tianxi Mountains, China. China, Tianxi's mountains and the Hunan province are some of the most unusual mountain formations in the world. Covering an area of around 17,000 acres, they're made from quartz sandstone and first began to emerge from the earth about 400 million years ago. The subsequent erosion of the rock has created these skinny mountains, which reach a peak of 3,976 feet and are named after the legend of a farmer who led a revolt against an oppressive regime who called himself the Son of Heaven. When the mountains are covered in mist, there's something mystical about them, and it's no surprise they were the inspiration for mountainscapes in movies like Avatar, and are one of the most popular tourist destinations in the region. Number 12, Grand Prismatic Spring, Wyoming, USA. The stunningly colorful Grand Prismatic Spring is in Yellowstone National Park and is the largest hot spring in the US. It's bigger than a football field at about 370 feet wide, and with a depth of at least 160 feet, you could fit a 10-story building inside it. The spring is fed through a crack in its floor, through which as much as 560 gallons of water is released into it every minute. Its normal temperature is 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's because of this that it's surrounded by such vibrant rings. The color is created by the presence of microbes that live in hot environments, and depending on the time of year, you'll see reds, oranges, yellows, greens, and blues. Okay, guys, tell me what is your favorite one? What is your favorite one? In your case, Maria Luz, what place you would like to visit? ¿Qué lugar le gustaría visitar? Eh, Maria Luz, what place would you like to visit? We have from we have from Australia, right? We have from the U.S. and uh, there there is was another one. What was your favorite one, Maria Luz? Luz? I would like to visit uh, Australia. Australia with this one, right? This one with the caves. Yeah, it sounds great, right? From the Australia. What about? You, Stella. Oh, no, you told me. Can you, I don't know if you can speak, sure. Stella. Oh, yes. Which one, Stella? Uh, number 12. Number 12. Okay, let's see. This one? Yeah, no. No, it, it was, let's see. Oh, from China? This one from China? No, it's from the... Oh, the Grand Canyon, the yeah. This. Okay, it, it's it, beautiful. It is, right? It is really beautiful, yes. And you can do it, right? You can go wherever you want. 
Ok, let's go back to the lesson. Ya vimos algunos lugares for uh, you to practice vocabulary, right, speaking. And now let's have this uh, reading to know about these places. Ok, can you help me? Can you help me with this information? Um, I don't know if, if I have volunteers who wants to help me. Or, oh, Jenny. Ok, Jenny, thank you. So. Let's start, please, Jenny. The world oldest universities. Uh, many universities around the world are proud, proud of, to have long stories and strong traditions. However, very few universities can claim to be among the oldest in the world. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. Is there any word, guys? Alguna palabra? Any word that maybe you don't know? Or are we okay? Among. Oh, among. 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 Among, among here. Okay, here. This is among, right? Among. Lo vamos a utilizar para decir entre, pero cuando tengamos varios objetos. Más de dos objetos. Among. Okay. Among. Okay. Is there any other? No. Claim. Okay. Claim significa. Claim. Okay. Claim significa like testificar, como presentar también, o afirmar. They claim. Afirmar. Okay. So, uh, just. Uh, any other work? Okay, yes, Gabriela. No more questions? Okay, Gabriela. No, creo... no okay, so, uh, no sé si usted, uh, you want to read? Do you want to read, Gabriela? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Nalan University in Bihar, India, was established around 600 BC. Mm -hmm. It was most likely the world. First university in the past scholar came from Europe, 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 China, mm -hmm. and all over India to learn about science, medicine, the Buddhist religion, and other subjects. The university is in ruins now. But at uh, one time, it was an impressive a school with temples, classrooms, libraries, and dormitories. Okay, this is an example of a great wonder, right, of a university that it was around the 600 BC before Christ, right? So it has different scholars, eruditos, we can say that came from Europe, China, and all over the world to learn science, medicine, about the Buddhist religion, and other subjects. Okay, uh, I don't know if you want to help me, Emily, with the reading. Okay, this one. Uh, according to uh, the Guinness Book of World Records, uh, the University of al Alcarin. Alcarin in Fez, Morocco, uh, is the oldest surviving university in the world. Uh, it was probably probla, probably uh, founded in uh, uh, I don't remember. 800? 859 uh, and became a famous place to study natural science in 1957, after more than 1,000 years mm -hmm. as, as a university, Al Al -Karin. Mm -hmm. Al -Karin added mat mathematics mm -hmm. and physics and che chemistry mm -hmm. and various foreign languages. To the traditional list of subjects for study. Okay, thank you, Emily. So, is there any word, guys, that maybe you don't know? 
and uh, you need, for example, uh, you don't know a meaning or pronunciation, or are we okay? Okay, so let's continue. And we have the last paragraph. Uh, I don't know if, if somebody wants to help me with this one. No, okay. Okay, Alejandra, thank you, Alejandra. Go ahead, please. The first university in Europe is definitely, definitely the University of Bologna in Italy. It was one of the few universities in Europe that were not influenced by religions, not by religion. Professors were, for, I don't know how to forbidden, say it. Forbidden, forbidden. Forbidden from teaching, from teaching outside of the university. And so, in, oh, and so students came from all over Europe to study with its famous teachers. Since happening in one, no, in 1088, 188, 1, the University of Bologna, it does by many wars in Europe. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. Uh, I see somebody else, no sé alguien más. I saw that somebody was raising their hand. No? Okay, let's see. Okay, Maria Veronica. Okay, let's go, Maria Veronica. Which the success of the University of Bologna other universities open across Europe, they were style, style begin religious group and former professor. Today, there are so many universities that students don't need to go far to study. They are sure to think one closet to home. Okay, thank you, Maria. So we have the word, for example, despite, despite. Despite means a pesar de, despite, right? Then we have former professors, que son como los profesores que antiguos, former or ex-professors too. And uh, we have the word Bologna, right? Bologna, cuando tenemos usualmente la G with the N, tenemos el sonido de la, we can say the la ñ, right, from heart language. Okay, so let's, I don't know if you have questions about the, about this, about a word or any um, pronunciation maybe. Okay, so let's discuss this. Let's see, uh, Alejandra, tell me, do you think that all universities are better than new universities? Why or why not? What do you think about this? I think just because we know more things than in the past and we have technology. So you you say that new universities ah, are no, better? No. no. Yeah, mm -hmm. new universities are best, better. You new universities are better because of technology, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. What about you? Let's listen, Luis, right? Because he belongs to the old universities, right? What do you think, Luis? Do you think that old universities are better than new universities? Yes, definitely. I, uh, you mean old are better or the new ones are better? Yes, all, all universities are better than the new universities. Okay, why? Tell me. I, mm -hmm. I, I think the tradition of, of the old university mm -hmm. uh, that that marked a point in the time mm -hmm. in the and other cultures in in all countries uh, that currently the culture mm -hmm. of another country mm -hmm. is better than the other countries so 
Uh, I think the education is is better because they they have more experience in that in in always the subjects are different than the new universities. Mm -hmm. I think that. Yes, right. Yeah, we have two points, right? From the new generations and from the past generations. Okay, thank you, yes. Luis. That's a very good point, right? Okay, what about the second question? Before universities, how do you think people passed down knowledge? ¿Cómo creen que eh, las personas se transmitían, right? The knowledge, el conocimiento. How do, nowadays, we do with computers, right? But before, how did they do it? Eh, Patricia, what can you tell mm -hmm. us about? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. No sé si interrumpí a alguien. No? Okay. So, Patricia. Oh, I'm sorry. No. I think it was Alejandra that she wanted yeah. to talk. I'm sorry, Alejandra. Maybe, Go ahead. Maybe, maybe through the, the practice. Mm -hmm. um, I think. It can be and also with books, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, that can be right. Mostly, mostly with books. And uh, another way, uh, Patricia, or how people passed down knowledge. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Number two. Hello. La número dos. Number two, Patricia. Number two. De la de abajo, la de arriba. This one, before universities. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Before universities, how do you do think people pass it down? No, level. knowledge. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se transmitían el conocimiento? Uh -huh. In which way? From letters too, right? Letters books and some others okay thank you patricia so let's practice the vocabulary right okay tenemos the words right let's practice the vocabulary okay we have to match right let's do the first one carlos dubon i don't know if you are there carlos hello no okay let's see uh, Andrea Renderos, I don't know if you are there, Andrea. No, okay, let's see. Claudia Iraeta, are you there? Okay, yes, yes, please, Andrea. Which of these is provided in most classrooms? Mm -hmm. what, what can be the answer? Which of these is forbidden in most classrooms? Sorry, mm -hmm. ¿Cuál de estas opciones está prohibido, right? ¿Qué puede ser? ¿Sería smoking? Yes, right. It is smoking. Recordemos que forbid es un verbo irregular, right? Sería el presente forbid. Tenemos en, en el pasado que tenemos uh, for bathe and then we have forbidden right in the past participle forbidden es un verbo irregular right significa prohibir prohibir okay so uh, then there is the the vocabulary what about number two can you help me rodrigo i don't know if rodrigo is here yeah rodrigo no can you help me in or volunteers? Is, are there volunteers to help me with this? Or Jose Carpio maybe can help me. Oh, I see there is one person. Okay, Jenny, thank you. Let's go with number two. Coach John is our former coach. He uh, he he, he quit last year. Mm-hmm. Coach. Jones is our former coach, right? He quit last year. El renunció el año pasado. Recordemos que former significa antiguo, anterior o ex, right? Tenemos el verbo quit. 
quit, right? Que significa renunciar. Quit. Okay, very good. Thank you. What about number three? Uh, can you help me? Volunteers? Are there is there any volunteer guys? With number three? Me. Okay, me. Two. To claim to be the oldest mm -hmm. means to say that you are the all, oldest. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. To claim to be the oldest means that you are the oldest, right? Declarar, right? Okay, thank you, Norma. Okay. Okay, what about number four? Can you, is there a volunteer, guys, for number four? Me. Teacher. Okay. okay, Gabriela, thank you, Gabriela. Then, uh, then it goes Stella. Gabriela, let's go with number four. Uh, this building survived, survived the earth, earthquake. This is mm -hmm. this earthquake. Mm -hmm. Earthquake. Um, it must be very uh, strong. Yes, right. Tenemos que the building survived, sobrevivió, right? Al terremoto, earthquake. It must be very strong. Okay, thank you. Let's listen now, Stella. Okay, let's go with number five, Stella. At the school, her favorite subject was art blue. Mm -hmm. It can be, right? It can be. Her favorite subject was, we can say, history too, right? Or art también. Hoy se va bastante el art. Okay, thank you, Stella. Okay, let's listen to the next one, number six. Okay, who wants to do number six? Maria Luz de Neto. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Maria. Mm -hmm. Number six. Okay, which can you establish? Uh, a meal. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo que podemos establecer? Club or a meal? Mm -hmm. What can we establish? Uh, no, no, no. Sí, sí. A club. Mm -hmm. A club, right? A club, mm -hmm. a club. Yes, yes, we can establish a club. Okay, thank you, Maria. What about number seven, guys? What do you have for number seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. No more? No? Okay. So, uh, can you help me, Rufino, with number seven? If you found an organization, you start it. If you found an organization, you start it, right? Okay. Very good. So the next one, number eight. Thank you, Rufino, the next one. Can you help me? Let's see. Mm, volunteers, do I have volunteers? Or oh, Jose Carpio, maybe you can help me with that one, Jose Carpio. Okay, thank you, Jose Carpio. Number eight, okay. please. Okay. I did, well, I did well on the exam. The on the exam, despite uh, no mm -hmm. study for it. Yes, Not right. Letter, letter, letter A. Yes, letter A. I did well on the exam, despite a pesar de que casi no estudié, right? Okay, thank you, Jose. Okay, there you have the vocabulary. I know you have questions about the vocabulary. No, okay. So now you are going to be practicing in pairs, right? These questions. I want you to answer them. Okay, Rufino. Okay, so I want you to answer them. Okay, remember that we are using the words, right? Okay, so let's do it. Se los compartiré en el grupo de WhatsApp, así que don't worry, okay? So let's go to the WhatsApp group and uh, try to answer them and then share with your classmates. Okay, let's go to the WhatsApp group. And uh, give me just a second. Let's see. 
questions? Okay, let's go. Let me know if there is a person who doesn't participate so I can get to another place, okay? Let's go. Let's go, guys. Hello, Estela, Andrea. Hello, ladies. What happened? Let's see, Andrea. Let's see, Andrea, what happened, Cristela?
Hello, Gabriela and Alejandra. How is everything going, girls? Uh, right now we are answering the and we are going to, to discuss that. Okay, so yeah. tell me, tell me, do you have the first one? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Tell me, tell me about that. That is one that it is interesting to me. So tell me about you. <laughs> well, first, when my parents for me to, well, yeah, uh, practice, uh, go out with, well, a lot of them, and also uh, play with other kids on the streets. Yes, right, not the same, right? The same happened to me when I was a kid. My parents didn't allow me to <laughs> go out, right, with friends, not even playing outside. Yeah. Good <laughs> of us, right? <laughs> what about even you, now, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Alejandra, I didn't yeah, listen. Even now, I can go out with friends. Oh, no, but that's good. That's good, right? Yeah, Let me congratulate right. your parents. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, that, that's good. That, that is the best, right? That they like, uh, like rule us, right? But later on, you will be able yeah. to go out. What about you, Gabriela? What about you? Um, I remember uh, I can speak with a stranger people or work with a strange people. Um, I remember my grand grandfather um, can watch TV after nine o'clock. After nine o'clock, okay, yeah, that, that, that should be like that, right? Hey, ladies, I let you work. It's a group that is calling me. See you soon, ladies. Hello, Claudia and Patricia. Uh, do you have questions? Hello, ladies. Yes, teacher. I don't understand number three. Number three, okay, it says, what have you managed to achieve despite lots of difficulties? Okay, so for example, imagine, I don't know if you are working, Claudia. Monday. No sé si estamos trabajando, are you working or studying? Uh, working. Okay, entonces la pregunta nos dice, ¿qué es lo que hemos alcanzado a pesar de tantos obstáculos? What have you achieved? Yeah. A pesar de, despite, de tantas dificultades, por ejemplo, en uh -huh. inglés, right? Entonces, uh -huh. está trabajando, tiene que levantarse a las cuatro, luego conectarse, viajar. So, you are achieving, estamos alcanzando, or, or studying, right? Ah, uh, uh -huh. thank you. Okay, achieve means eh, alcanzar también, alcanzar, achieve. Mm. Okay, let's continue. Okay, you're welcome. Mm, I let you work, ladies. Oh, el conocimiento. Oh, the mad match. Ah, okay, okay. ¿Cómo vamos? How is everything going, ladies? Questions? Uh, la number Three. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo la respondería? What have you managed, right? ¿Cómo hemos alcanzado o logrado, por ejemplo, diferentes logros? Eh, a pesar de las muchas dificultades que tenemos, por ejemplo, en el caso creo que María comentó que está trabajando y se tiene que levantar temprano, entonces, ¿qué es lo que ella ha alcanzado? Por ejemplo, estudiar inglés. Es, ¿Ha mejorado su nivel de inglés a pesar de que ella tiene que trabajar desde temprano, cuidar a los niños, es seguir estudiando? Entonces, a eso se refiere la pregunta. ¿Cuáles son los logros, por ejemplo, que hemos alcanzado? A pesar de difficulties, right? Ah, logros. Y, teacher, y, ¿y sería válido como lograr 
o desarrollar más eh, la capacidad de, resilien de ser resiliente? It can be. O sería más específico. Puede ser, aunque resiliente es bastante, bastante general, right? O, por ejemplo, no sé si creo que no sé si usted fue la co que comentó que estaba estudiando maestría o algo así. No sé si sí. usted. ¿verdad? Anteriormente. Ajá, anterior. entonces eh, esa parte también la puede comentar, right? O también que ha mejorado su nivel de inglés y que ha sido esforzado a pesar de que ha tenido que trabajar mucho o estudiar, etcétera, right? Ok. Ok. So, no more questions, ladies. Este, una, una pregunta, la número 4, que, que, que fue Which justo is, donde encontró riendo, era como más la materia que más se usó, ¿verdad? Okay. Enfocado. Which of your former teachers, ¿cuál de sus eh, ex-teachers, right? Ex-maestros? The, per the person, right? Le gustó más. Ah, ok. ¿Y por okay. qué? For example, okay. teacher Joyce, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, right? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yes. Okay. Nah, it's just a kid. I am just kidding, right? So that is like an example. So no more questions, ladies? No more questions. No okay. more questions. Okay, okay. I'll let you work then, yeah. ladies. Uh, Hello, Edwino um, and Albert. Oh. Do you have questions or are we okay? Uh, we finish uh, the question uh, in in few in few in few of two two questions uh, with problem in that. Translation. Uh, translation. We, translation. We say translation. But uh, um, uh, uh, for me, the question why, mm -hmm. the question one, mm -hmm. uh, uh, very, very, uh, uh, the question was difficult. Uh, and um, uh, and uh, three, mm -hmm. the question three, two. Okay, uh, what can you tell me for, for the first one, Profino? What is uh, the answer you have? Uh, I don't, I don't, uh, in, the, in the beginning, in the beginning dialogue when Albert, mm -hmm. um, I forgive and uh, the translation. Oh, forbid. Forbid, okay. uh, forbid, I don't, re I don't remember. Okay, the meaning is like prohibir, right? ¿Qué es lo que tus padres te prohibieron? Mm -hmm. When you were but, a kid. Mm -hmm. But Albert, eh, Albert, eh, la sabía? Sí. Knew it. Mm -hmm. Knew it. Um, but I mean, no, no, don't, don't, no, don't, don't say, don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, in the three, uh, I don't, I don't manage it. Yeah, uh, and achieve, achieve, mm -hmm. achieve, achieve. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. Achieve. Mm -hmm. Okay, what have you managed to achieve despite lots of difficulties? Right. For example, how you have handled, how you have achieved all your success, even though you have a lot of problems. For example, mm -hmm. in your case, you are working, right? Right, Rufino? Yes. Okay. So, yes, I work. And you are learning English, right? Mm -hmm. So that is your success. Mm -hmm. So sí. how do you yeah. handle with that? ¿Cómo es que lidiamos o cómo es que nosotros alcanzamos el éxito a pesar de muchas dificultades? Mm -hmm. Okay, that okay. is like the meaning of the, of the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other question about, about it? Gosh, oh my God, guys, I I'm going to stop here because it is time, right? It is yeah. interesting, but maybe <laughs> tomorrow we have time. Okay, sorry, okay. sorry, no guys. Problem, no problem. Sorry. Okay, sorry guys, to take too much time. Eh, si nos podemos retirar because ya les tomé too much time from 
this hour, right? Thank you so much for coming, guys. I hope to see you tomorrow and try to finish that. And tomorrow we are going to complete the, you're going to share your opinion about the questions, right? Ya se me pasaron dos minutos, guys. Eh, thank you so much for coming. Y el día de mañana vamos a presentar your opinions, right? About the questions that were really interested. Okay. Guys, thank you so much. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye, teac